Hey guys, once again there is a great new product. This product is all about how to protect existing KNX installations against unauthorized access in a simple, fast and most importantly cost-effective way. The notorious BAU password is usually not an option here. Firstly, all devices would have to be reloaded with this password. Secondly, BCU1 and also some newer devices cannot be protected with this password at all. And thirdly, if you forget or lose it, the whole KNX system is just expensive scrap. However, there is a much more effective method to protect BCU1 devices from being erased by unloading as well. This method uses the new push button interface four way from Ling and Yankee. Here I have the good stuff. I open the package. There is of course first the push button interface itself. Exact name TS4FL2PSSEC, which stands for Push Button Interface 4 Gang with LED programming lock and KNX data secure. In addition, a quick start guide as well as the factory key to be able to download the device securely later in the ETS from version 5.7 and up and protect it against unauthorized access. Also, the telegram keys for data secure communication are generated over it. Briefly to the hardware features. There are, as usual with such devices, four potential free inputs, which may be wired with a maximum of 5 meters line lengths each. Additionally, there are four LED outputs, which provide a maximum voltage of 5 volt DC, but in total only 5 milliamps current. However, this is easily sufficient for today's low current LEDs with 1 milliamp operating current. To operate LEDs, an additional connection cable is required, which is connected to this slot here. The dimensions are 43 by 51 by 20 millimeters, not record breaking small, but in general sufficient for normal switch boxes. However, Ling and Yankee recommends using deep boxes if possible. But now the actual unique selling point of this push button interface. It has a feature that can be switched on and off via Data Secure Bus Telegram. This is the so-called programming lock. If it is switched on, then this push button interface reacts to each connection setup telegram with a connecting termination telegram. This means that it is not possible for any tool to program KNX devices or even to read out their info, since such a disconnection telegram triggers an immediate termination of communication at the programming tool. Even a line scan fails, because all physical addresses can still be determined. But the poll about the device descriptor or the mask version is rejected in each case. To integrate this push button interface into an existing ETS project, one must of course import its database. This comes at the moment only from the KNX online catalog of Ling and Yankee or via a direct link which is in the video description below. Because it is data secure device, at the latest now the agreement of a project password is required. But that's it as well for passwords that have to be remembered. Now only the programming lock object has to be connected to a group address. 
and after the download of the line of this device can be protected in no time. This can be done simply by sending a secure group telegram with the value 1 to the device by means of the group monitor. Of course, you can also use one of the inputs of the push button interface for sending this telegram. But sending via group monitor is the only method to enable physical address to the KNX installation in case of remote access. By the way, switching on the lock is also possible by timer. All those who forget to send the lock telegram after a programming session will be relieved by this, because the lock will be reactivated by itself in a parameterizable period of some minutes up to several hours. Please note, a separate push button interface with programming lock is required for each line. However, it is of course possible to release all of them via one and the same group address. The effect of this measure is that one can protect also old installations so well against reprogramming and deletion or even BAU password abuse that furthermore expensive measures are no longer necessary. So, I have reached now the end of my remarks. Last but not least some info about the price. This push button interface is just 10 euros list price more expensive than the normal push button interface of the same design. Link to the manufacturer's website and more in the video description below. See you next time, your Axel Grossman.